right, all right. So I'm overdue. A full hour. One, two, what's the difference? I took Miss Shelley for a little sightseeing trip. Catherine? I can't find my compact, Nick. I've got it here. You risk 10,000 pounds in gold bullion to grandstand for a lady? Brandon, your conduct is most reprehensible. He's a reprehensible character, Mr. Keggers. That's what's so nice about Nick. As an employee of Atlantic, Miss Shelley, you shouldn't encourage negligence on the part of our pilot. Making love becomes negligence. I'll be the first to report it. Find the manifest, please. Mm -hmm. Here's your compact, honey. Oh, thanks, Nick. You flying back tonight? That depends. Clerk nails and zinc oxide, and there's a rush. Looks like I'm going back. But I'll have time enough for a drink. Meet me at the club? Make a tea, and I'll be with you as soon as I shower and change. Oh, providing, of course. Miss Shelley, you're on company time until 4 o'clock. 4.20, then, Nick? It's a deal. All right. See you then. You know why Sir David is sponsoring her stay here? Now that you mention it, there is a rumor going around that the young lady hits the bottle pretty hard. Then why do you want to throw it at her? Why, well, Mr. Kegris, tea never harmed anyone. You'd better have that equipment loaded aboard the big ship. I'd like to have you. Oh, ease that off a bit, will you? That's good. Gin sling. Lake Davio, between the fly and Strickland, is made to order. Deep enough to land on, shallow enough for skin diving. I gave it a close look this afternoon. With a girl aboard? What better excuse for being off course? I was showing the young lady the sights. Hmm. That's swamp country around Davio. Not many boats can get in there. That's your problem. Yeah, I know. So when's the next shipment due in? We're never told in advance. They're usually about four weeks apart. A gin sling for the lady, Boomy. Yes, Twan. No, wait. Oh, sorry. I took it for granted you'd want a gin sling. What I want when I'm going to have are two different things. Make it iced tea. Bring another sling anyway, in case the lady changes her mind. Yes, Twan. I gave Sir David my word, and I intend to keep it. Good girl. You know, it's strange. At 10,000 feet, your eyes were green. Now they're blue. Extraordinary, isn't it? But then you're an extraordinary person. <laughs> nice try, Nick. You're always pitching. You're a devil, Nick. I ought to hate you. But it's much too hot for the effort. What's his name, Katie? What's his name? The guy who lit the torch you're carrying. You're crazy. Oh, it lights up the sky, honey. Like the Statue of Liberty. You're getting serious, Nick. I don't like you that way. All right. Then let's get back up to 10,000 feet where your eyes are green. And there's no need to talk. You've already told me all I want to know. Nick Brandon, strictly for laughs. You said it, I didn't. Nobody needs to say it. When the right guy comes along, that torch will go out. And you'll drink tea because you like it. Jumbo? Nick? How are you, Miss Shelley? Oh, I was fine until I saw that boat out there. Now I'm miserable. Oh, a boat makes me wish I were a man. No roots, no anchors. Go where you want to go and the world starts crowding you. And the world's a long way off on a boat. If that bloke wants to go on and join the kind of life you're so crazy about, he'd better get over in the channel. He's headed for trouble. Must be a stranger around here. There's no excuse. The channel's marked. Can't someone wave them off? It's too late. He's heading in. Be uh, very interesting if he gets her through that stretch of shallow water without ripping her bottom up. I 
hope nothing happens. She's so beautiful. The skipper of that schooner isn't such a bloke as you think. Yeah. A nice job, all right. Draws little or no water. A shallow draft vessel if I ever saw one. Yeah. I want to have another look at that, baby. See you later. Well, now that I know your weakness, I'll get a boat if I have to rob a mint. <laughs> You're not the boat side, Nick. For you, sweetheart, I'd be anything. Good boys. I'm sorry I can't keep you on. Pretty soon, Tabati get the cargo. Need Vumidai. Me wait. Seeker. All right, Vumidai, you stand watch. If I get a cargo, I'll take you back on. Your paper, sir? Right here. I cleared out of Marsby. Very good, sir. You'll clear with the governor's office before leaving. Okay. That's a nice boat you got there. The best. Oak for the hull, ash for the mass, and teak wood for the deck. Built for speed and beauty and hang the expense, huh? You know boats. <laughs> I know a thoroughbred when I see one. On the cellar. <laughs> Are you kidding? Won't even name a price. Why should I? That boat's my home, my job, my... Sweetheart, yeah, I know. Well, I don't blame you. Any particular reason for putting in the Cura Bay? Sure. I'm looking for a job. Cargo, charter, anything that's on the up and up. That's how I plan. I'm looking for an honest man with a good boat that can keep his eyes open and his mouth shut. What's the deal? Pearls. My name's Singleton. First name's Steve. Jumbo Johnson. I'm a trader hereabouts. Buy a drink. I'll take it. Ah, the New Guinea mainland's a Hades that even Dante couldn't imagine. Mud and slime and storms. Mist, fever. <laughs> but out among the islands, there's a white man's paradise. I can make 100000 for each of us before the new paint on that boat of yours gets a smudge on it. There's a fortune waiting, Singleton. Fortune, huh? So, 